Right now at five, a dramatic move in the legal saga involving the adoptive parents of Sharon Matthews, the little girl found dead last year in a Richardson culvert. Today, Sini and Wesley Matthews signed away their parental rights for their biological daughter. This is the latest development in a case that many of you have been watching closely and commenting a lot about on our social media pages. Here's News 8's Tanya Iser. Attorneys for both parents said it was a difficult decision to permanently surrender parental rights to their four year old biological daughter, but it was the right one. It was the first time we've seen Wesley Matthews since his indictment on a capital murder charge in the death of his adoptive daughter, Sharon, and the first time we've seen his wife Zini since her indictment on a child abandonment charge. Both were shackled and showed no emotion Friday morning as they agreed to permanently surrender parental rights to their four-year-old biological daughter. Both parents made an extremely difficult decision to give up their parental rights because they both think it's in the best interest of their surviving child. Their biological daughter was removed from their home a couple of days after three-year-old Sharon disappeared. Her body was found weeks later in a culvert. An autopsy concluded she died of homicidal violence, but how she died could not be determined. CPS has conducted a home study. The couple appeared before Judge Cheryl Lee Shannon during a Child Protective Services hearing. The mother and father have personally signed. As well the judge addressed both parents, making sure they understood their decision. Do you understand by executing the affidavit and the court accepting it that it will be permanent and irrevocable and that you can't take it back? Do you understand? Yes. The court order allows the couple to have supervised visitation of their daughter sometime down the road, should they ever be released from jail. It also paves the way for the maternal relatives who have been caring for her to adopt her. I think everyone was in agreement that it was in her best interest. Um, the judge was in agreement and CPS was in agreement with that as well. Tanya Iser, Channel 8 News. We have been following Sharon's tragic story from the very beginning, even sending crews to India to learn what her life was like there before she was adopted. You can see all of those stories and a timeline of this case at WFAA.com.